Let's go, let's get it. Let's go, let's go, let's get it. Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to seven, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you today? How are you today? I'm trying to find the feed. There it is. How are you today? Dude, today is uh, going to be an interesting show. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Today is going to be an incredibly interesting show, unlike any other show I've ever done in history of hashtag rise and grind. So I hope you are excited and ready for that. Look, today is Thursday, March 7th, 2019. That's right, Thursday, March 7th, 2019. And what's crazy is today is the first and the very last time it'll ever be Thursday, March 7th, 2019. So I want to make sure we make the absolute most of this incredible day. Are you with me? Great. Let's make the absolute most of this incredible day. It's looking like it's about 22 degrees outside right now here in Kentucky. So we're warming up. We were at like 12 and 15. We're at 22 with a high of 37 today. We're actually going to get out of freezing. So I'm super excited and thankful about that. I hope it's warming up wherever you are in the country because, man, it has been cold. Dude, I was freezing yesterday. Freezing. Now, listen, we've been talking about character this week here on Hashtag Rise and grind we've been talking about the mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual right some people have good character some people have not so good character right some people have really bad character and so we've been asking ourselves a question all week we've been asking ourselves like what is your character what does your character look like which do you have do you have good character do you have bad character right monday we talked about how it takes 25 years. It can take 25 years to build a reputation, but it only takes five minutes to destroy it, right? One just terrible, bad decision can destroy everything. 25 years, good reputation, five minutes, bam, destroys it. I can give you an example. I know a gentleman back where, when I grew up, in Flagstaff, Arizona, there was a gentleman out there who we used to all go over to his house. And we, I mean, beautiful family. He was married, had uh, four daughters, I think it was. Beautiful house. Everybody used to always go over to their house all of the time. I mean, it was, they had trampolines in the back. It was absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Incredible family, incredible people. I absolutely loved them. And then, boom, 15 years later, I see this guy's in the paper for doing things to little kids that he ain't supposed to be doing, right? And even though I had 15 years of good memories, it didn't take me but five minutes to realize this dude's got bad character, right? This dude's got real bad character. And so 25 years to build a reputation, five minutes to tear it down. So we have to be careful of that. We have to be conscious of that. We have, to, we have to understand that who we are, we have to be 24-7 all the time. We can't fake it, right? We can't fake it because at some point our five minutes are going to come out. Our true character is going to be shown. So we talked about that on Monday. Tuesday, we talked about the characteristics of the people that we looked up to, the people that we uh, felt had great character that we wanted to be more like, right? We talked about how they are they're honest people. They're clean people. They're confident people. We talked about how they work really, really hard and they constantly serve others. Some incredible character traits of people that we look up to. And you guys went through and you tagged all the different people that you believe have great character and that you want to be more like, right? We did that on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we talked, uh, which was yesterday. I mean, golly, dude, it's hard to keep track of the days. But Wednesday or yesterday, we talked about treating people the way they want to be treated 
not treating the people the way we want to be treated, right? You've always heard treat people the way you want to be treated when the reality is we need to treat people the way they want to be treated because everybody is unique and different and wants to be treated in different ways. I was talking to uh, um, a gentleman reached out to me yesterday. This was really cool. A gentleman reached out to me yesterday and he was telling me that his wife's 40th birthday is coming up. Her wife, his wife's 40th birthday is today actually. And he's in the automobile industry and she had sent a text message saying, oh, honey, you know, no big deal. 40th birthday's coming up. But he could kind of, he'd read through the lines because he knew how his wife was. And so because he wanted to treat her the way that she would want to be treated, not the way that he would want to be treated on his 40th birthday, but he put himself in her shoes. He was watching the show yesterday and he thought, well, I'm going to, I'm going to treat her the way she wants to be treated. And so what he did is he's getting off at five tonight. She doesn't even know. He's getting off work early and he's got a hotel set up. He's got a babysitter set up for the kids and they're just going to go and they're going to go stay the night in a hotel and he's going to give mama a break for her 40th birthday, right? Incredible because he knows she's going to love that. She's going to love being in the hotel. She's going to love throwing a robe on. She's going to love not having to deal with the kiddos. She's going to love it. And so he's doing what she wants to do, what he believes is going to make an impact that she would like, not necessarily what he would want to do on his 40th birthday. So that's what we talked about yesterday. And today we're going to wrap all of this up with a bow. We're going to do some things that we've never done before on this show in the history of the show, which by the way, we've done over 300 episodes. Did you know that the show Friends, Friends, the show Friends, has had less episodes than we've had of Hashtag Rise and Grind. Isn't that crazy? They had less episodes. I think it was either 232 or 282. I can't remember. But they have less episodes of the show Friends than we have of Hashtag Rise and Grind. That's some powerful stuff. So before we wrap all of this up, which we are going to, and it's going to be powerful. Before we wrap all this up, let's go ahead and do some dancing. What do you guys want to dance to today? How about, what's the, what do we got here? What's this one? Yeah, I can do this. I can do this. Friends and family members, this is a part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right. I need you to hit that share button because I believe if we could change the way people start their day, we can make a massive impact on this planet. This is also the part of the show where I want you to say good morning to me and I'm going to say good morning to you. Whether you're watching on live or replay, let's say what's up. Real quick, just say what's up. It's easy. Good morning, Janelle. Good morning, Pam. What's up, Don Sankey? Richard Pinter. How you doing, Janelle Griego? What's up, Sandra? How you doing, Vicky? Carrie Lynn Carter. Paige Haney Kurt Singer. What's up, Amy Bach? What's up, Sheena White? What's up, RC Hazard? What's up, Brandy Moomow? Moomow? What's up, Josh? Oh! Jeff Baker's up in here. Um, I think I already said the end. Yep, I think I did. I think I did. What's up, Lindsay I? Dwayne Dewberry? Cece Eberly? What's up, Tabby Negret? Naomi Bussinger? Trendy Trenda? My goodness. You ladies are blowing the place up this morning. It's like all the my, it's all my dudes are sleeping in today. And the ladies are rising and grinding. Sandra Binstock's up in here. Cindy Conley's up in here. What's up, Keith Hamilton? What's up, George Fleming? Danielle Rose? Eric Burns? Dana Fishbean? How are ya? How are ya? What's up, Gail B. Craft? Christopher Campbell? My man Aaron Jones is up in the house. Okay, now, now the dudes are starting to show up. My goodness. All right, everybody. Or, get everybody. I gotta talk to you. My man Hank has been getting on me about this. My man Hank keeps telling me all the time he's like glenn quit talking to everybody he said you might have a thousand people that watch the show but those thousand people are not watching the show all together in the same room he said they're all watching it by themselves my guess is you currently right now are watching this show by yourself am i right am i right or am i wrong maybe i'm wrong maybe you guys are all getting together Somewhere, some, some Rise and Grind meetup that I don't know about. I don't know. But my guess is you are watching the show by yourself. And you probably would love it if I would just talk to you this morning. Wouldn't you? You'd probably love that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to talk to you 
today. When Elena Cardone was on my show, this girl's fire, man. When Elena Cardone was on my show, she told me something really, really, really powerful. She, she wrote this book called Building an Empire, How to Have It All. And so she told me that every single action, her and her husband, they pay attention and every single action that they take, they, were, or they are either building their empire or tearing it down. And the same applies to you and I. Every single action that we take is either building our empire or tearing it down. So if we choose to go do certain things that don't benefit fit us in any way, shape, or form, that's actually tearing down our empire. If we choose to do things a certain way that do benefit our long-term growth, our long-term, that's building our empire. So we have to look at every single action. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? Do I make this decision? Do I do this? Do I do that? So on and so forth. It's all building our empire, tearing it down. And that has stuck with me ever since. And so I want to do something very unique this morning. And I hope you guys are okay because I am about to invade your privacy. I am about to go, um, oh, yeah, am I moving this? Yeah, I'm going to put that right there so I don't lose it. And I am about to go to your Facebook pages because I want to, I'm going to invade your privacy here just a little bit. See, you guys have to understand something. It is 2019. It is 2019, and you have a digital fingerprint. You have a digital fingerprint now. I read a study, 70% uh, of employers are now looking at social media. 70% of employers are looking at social media before you, before they hire you, okay? 70% are looking at social media before they hire you. 48% uh, are tracking you on social media as an employee. You already work for them. They are tracking you as an employee. They are looking at your social media media okay so i'm gonna talk to you so carrie lynn carter just said glenn be creeping let's go to carrie lynn carter's page right now we're gonna go to carrie lynn carter i'm gonna go to carrie lynn carter's page and be and i, and I want you to understand that this is what people are doing this is what potential employers are doing this is what people in your network are doing they are going to judge your character based on your digital footprint or those now don't get me wrong you're going to have intimate relationships with people in the physical real world as well and they're going to judge you too because everybody is okay but i want to see what let's see okay so oh well look look she shared the show <laughs> she shared the show great job carrie she shared the show this morning i love it what she got on here okay she's celebrating six years of friendship with uh jane that's awesome okay it looks like carrie went to uh says go cabs going vip tonight baby so she was at the quicken uh she quicken loans arena looks like she went to a basketball game that's awesome Go Cavs, okay. Um, look, you notice something else? You notice like some people are have commented. She's actually taken the time to go back and respond to people's comments. That's good. Uh, entire theater is packed. She is at a fundraiser for Hammer and Nails. That's good. Uh, she's responding to people's comments. I see that. I see that. That means that she actually cares. She's concerned. Uh, she makes me smile, okay. So this is her and her friend rocking our, no, her niece, Baby niece Eva, her mini me, they're out there rocking some sunglasses, having some fun. So she's got a sense of humor. She's not taking life too seriously. Uh, do not drink water without boiling it first. Okay, disease causing organisms may be present in Stark County water supply. All right, so Carrie cares about other people. She's showing people. I love it. Uh, Rainmaker boot camp. All right, great. She went to a boot camp. She's doing some training. Uh, so okay, all right. So for here, I can I can judge. I'm judging Carrie right now. Okay. And it looks like Jay, uh, Carrie likes to grow. She likes to learn. 
she uh, she's in a sales training here. She's sharing some crazy show called hashtag rise and grind at 530 in the morning. Right. She's making a post at 530 in the morning. So if I'm an employer, I can look at that and then I can go, OK, well, she's in the, like a VIP box at Quicken. So she's probably doing OK in her career. She probably works hard. She seems to care about other people. She's at fundraisers and she rises early. That's awesome. I can hire Carrie. I can hire Carrie. She's probably got great character. I'm going to judge her. Okay. Now, I just clicked back to my regular page. I'm going to pull up Scott Simons right here because he just popped up. All right. Scott Simons up top left. He looks like he's a speaker. He's going to speak at uh, this amazing conference, Hustle and Grind, if you haven't been there. Great job, Scott Simons. Scott Simons has shared the hashtag Rise and Grind show. He's also shared a motivational video right here at, uh, looks like he shared that at 5.10 or 5.15 in the morning. All right, what else has he got here? Um, website just went live. He's got a sports campus that he supports in the local community. Uh, this happened today. Here's his daughter. His daughter's DMV. That's good. She just got her license. That's awesome. Congratulations. Uh, two excellent visits with dealers. Okay, this is good. Uh, Jack Mason's Tavern, he's showing himself working with other dealers, which is awesome. It shows that he's selfless, even though he's in the car business. He's not only showing him at his store. I need people to see and hear this. If you're in business, please just stop trying to sell me stuff. Show me that you're adding value to your community. Show me that you care about more than just yourself. Show me that. All right. Can you show me that? All right. This girl, uh, and he's a fitness guy. This girl's like killing it on the bike. Wow, that's amazing. I'm going to have to go back and check that out. So he's sharing that. He's got some great news about Volkswagens. He's telling me he's a professional. He's got some expert stuff. Look at this. He's highlighting his team members. What am I not seeing on this post or on this page? I'm not seeing a whole lot of Scott Simons. You notice that? I'm seeing his stores. I am seeing him out helping out in the community and showing and so forth. But for the most part, I see him sharing other people's stuff, other people's information. He's obviously, he cares about other people and he cares about lifting other people up, right? I can, t I can see that about Scott Simons right there. All right, who wants to go next? Let's grab, um, let's go, uh, I see Naomi Buskinger. Let's go to Naomi. You guys want to go to Naomi? You guys can vote, too. Go ahead. While I'm pulling out Naomi, I'm going to do one more after this. Vote vote for somebody that you want me to uh, look at their page. <laughs> We're having a little fun this morning. Okay, Naomi. Uh, actually, Naomi's at the same store as Scott. We should probably do something different. Oh, look, look. Naomi wins. Look, she hit the share button. She hit the share button three minutes ago. <laughs> she wanted to make sure. I love it. That's so funny. That is awesome. All right. She's got some funny stuff here. She's uh, Naomi's doing doing something silly with her coworkers. I don't want to hit play on that. I don't know what we're getting into. She did share uh, yesterday's uh, March 5th. She shared two days ago. Rise and Grind. March 4th. Rise and Grind. Okay, so she's sharing the Rise and Grind show. It looks like she's eating something healthy here. That was 21 hours ago. Creamy red peppers, Brussels sprouts, cabbage. Okay, she's eating healthy. Uh, her mom, she loves her mama. That's good. She's got her Starbucks. I love that. All right, she shared um, Sean Hayes. So a lot of stuff on Rise and Grind. She's clearly a big fan, which is awesome. Um, some painting and a little avatar. Okay, she goes to church. I can see that about her. There's nothing negative on her post, nothing negative in her pages. She's introducing people to Andrew Wright. Okay, here's what I can tell you about Naomi's character, okay? Looking looking at her page, I can tell you a couple things, and I, I actually know um, Naomi pretty pretty well, but I can tell you something about Naomi. Naomi is a, um, a supporter. Like, Naomi likes to lift and encourage. She she loves to lift and encourage, and you can see that in her page. Um, she loves God. She loves pushing, rise, and grind. She loves highlighting other people. Uh, that's 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 Naomi's character. So if I'm an employer, right, or a potential, um, I want to date somebody or something like that, I can tell from her post that she would be the type of person that would be really um, supportive and she would really dive into her role with a lot of honesty and integrity. And that's awesome. I can hire that person, right? I can hire that 
person. So anybody, nobody's voting. Josh O. Okay, I, I see a vote for Josh O. This will be our last one. We're going to go to Josh O's page. All right, North, Northstown CDJR. Hey, what's up, Sean Hayes, man? We're, Sean, we're having some fun this morning. We're going on to other people's Facebook pages and taking a look. Uh, we're, we're, we're taking a look at their Facebook pages and what we can determine based on their character, based on their Facebook page. That's what we're doing today. So we go to Josh O. Looks like Josh O. Um, yep, there he is. Josh O. He's got Greg Walker. Uh, Greg Walker must have tagged Josh O in a post in that sharing, which, by the way, you should have your settings to where if somebody tags you in a post, you have a chance to review it before it just goes to your page. OK, you don't want stuff just going to your page. All right. He's uh, Josh. So he shared this artist uh, video. He shared hashtag rise and grind a couple days ago. Um, the coffee with friends, tea for some. I love my man, Josh O. Describe yourself using a line from a song. Mine is in the comments. All right. He's got some engagement there. People are talking about, look, Jonathan Dawson says, I get knocked down, but I get up again. I love it. I love it. Um, Josh O, I'm not superstitious, not religious, not afraid of Satan. But yesterday I discovered that me and Michelle Pauly McLean had 666 mutual friends on Facebook. Naturally, I immediately scrounged through around for an additional friend. Right. Got that. Got to kill that. Can't have 666. Every Tuesday, I take a train into Philly and explore museums, buildings, stores, neighborhoods. I've lived here for 14 years, yet not until today did I discover this wonderful place. Okay, I'm going to go through. I see him posting some art stuff. I see, uh, what's we got here? Grand Cherokee SRT. Okay, I see a car back on March 4th or March 1st. Okay, see a couple other cars. See some different shares. I see a lot of engagement. Okay. All right, Josh O, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to you real, cuz. I'm going to give it to you real. All right, when I look at Josh O's, and I know Josh O, obviously, but when I look at Josh O's page, here's what I see. Here's Actually, here's what I don't see, Josh. What I don't see, we probably shouldn't get too deep into this. <laughs> it's early in the morning. But Josh, oh, I don't see, I don't see. If I when I flip through here, there's a couple things I don't know about you. I don't know really a whole lot about what you do for a living, and I don't know really a whole lot. Like, are you a family man? Are you married? You got any kids? Now I do know that I see some posts with your kids every once in a while. So I just don't see them in these first few posts as I'm flipping through. I do see some posts with your kids every once in a while. But I know you love your family more than you're showing me on here, bro. I know you do. Anyways, we're digging in to some different people, Facebook pages. But I can see a lot about Josh's character, okay? Josh is obviously artistic. He's obviously historic. He, he sees the beauty that's in the world. But I just don't know from an employee side. I honestly don't know. I don't know about much about his his character other than I know he's artistic. I know that he likes history. Um, I know that he's witty and I know that he's funny. OK, that's what I know. Now, I'm just in. And, and Josh knows I can I can Josh and I will jump on a call after this. I can talk to Josh about anything. I'm not being negative. I'm trying to prove a point. We live in 2019, my friends. Yes, there's no negativity on Josh's page. Josh is private. I agree. Josh is private. He's a private person, okay? And that's 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 okay on one hand. It's okay to be a, a private person. And Josh O's no no offense to you, but Josh O is one of my favorite human beings on the planet. He's one of my favorite human beings in the whole Rise and Grind group. And that's probably why I judge his stuff a little bit more cuz I'm like, "Come on, Josh," cuz I want him to break through to certain levels. Um, in his life, but our Facebook pages. Okay. This stuff is important. See, you must display your character. If you want to win in 2019, you must display your character if you want to win. But here's the thing. You can't fake it. You cannot fake your character. You must be real. You must be authentic because human beings can tell we have a sixth sense if you're faking it if you're posting because you want to be one way but that's not truly who you are we can sense it it's bad it will backfire all right listen 
if you so if you if you want people to see if what you want people to see doesn't match up with who you are then we have a real 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 problem okay so i'm going to ask you a big 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 question today as we wrap up he does have a truly beautiful mind as we wrap up this week on character i'm going to ask you a question if a camera were to follow you around 24 7 if a camera were to follow you around 24 7 would you be okay with them sharing everything they shot? If a camera were to follow you around 24-7, now obviously they're not going to follow you into the bathroom, and they're not going to follow you into bed with your, with your spouse, okay? They're not going to follow you there. But if a camera were to follow you around 24-7, would you be okay with them showing all of that footage out to the world? How would people describe you if that were the case? You see, that's character. That's true character. It's who you are. <laughs> Josh, oh, you're crazy. That's true character. It's, it's who you are all the time. It's who you are all the time. And if your posts don't match, if you're having to post, if you're having to put on a show, in order to be hireable, if you're having to put on a show in order to be dateable, if you're having to, if the p things that you're posting don't match up with who you truly are and what you truly believe, then we've got some character issues that we have to deal with. You understand? You have some character issues that you have to deal with. I, I, I'm, I'm going to give you some homework today. I want you to do some homework today. Will you do some homework? Let's do it this week. Tomorrow, Sean Hayes is going to be on the show, by the way. I'm super excited. Sean Hayes is going to be on the show. Make sure you come check that out. It's going to be awesome. But I'm going to give you some homework today. All right? I want you to post on your social media. I want you to post this. It's very specific. Write it down, okay? Somebody take notes. If Mike Brockway is in here, somebody put it down in the comments as I say it. I want you to be very specific. But here's, here's your homework, if you dare. And I want you to put this on your Facebook page or your, yeah, Facebook page. It's the only place I'll be able to see it. So I want you to put these words. I want you to put, be honest. Okay. Start it off with, be honest. Based on what you know about me, describe me in five words or less. Okay. I want you to put, be honest. First two words, be honest. Based on what you know about me. Because some people don't know anything about you except for social media, right? So we don't want to exclude people that don't really know you. We want to include everybody. Based on what you know about me, describe me in five words or less, okay? Then I want you to put in parentheses, yeah, that's right. Then I want you to put in parentheses, I want you to put, please be honest, good or bad, I am trying to grow, now, so if you put those words in there, please be honest, good or bad. Put this in parentheses. Please be honest, good or bad. I am trying to grow. Because when you put that in there, people will want to help you and they will tell you the truth. And then I want you to snap a picture of your face. Snap a picture of your face and include it in the post. Okay, it's got to have a picture of your face. People connect with pictures of your face. You can't just put the words. People scroll on by. I want a picture of your face. I want you to put the words, be honest. Based on what you know about me, describe me in five words or less. Parentheses, please be honest, good or bad. I'm trying to grow. I want you to do that today and then put the hashtag rise and grind on there and I'll be able to see it. And if you did it, I'll put you into a drawing. I'm going to do a t-shirt hat combo. So if you do the homework today, you get put into a drawing for a t-shirt hat combo and let's grow together. Let's really take a good hard look. Let's not just listen to Glenn all week on character and then go about our lives and not not take a, a good hard look and, and, and change things. Okay, I want, I want rise and grind to be practical practical application for you. I want you to grow. I want you to rise, evolve, and impact. I don't want it to just be a show that we watch in the morning and then we go about our day, okay? So I want you to put that on your thing today, okay? And I'll put you in for a drawing and, 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 and we'll take a look at it. Now, the good news is 
Whether people put some bad stuff or some good stuff, that part doesn't matter. Because the good news is, if you look at your planner today, today's quote, to live is to change. And to be perfect is to have changed often. So the great news is, wherever your character is right now, we all have stuff we have to work on. I have stuff I have to work on. No matter where it is right now, we can always change. We can always change and make it better. We can always change and grow. Come on, Mike Brockway, post it. Why are you scared? Let's go, bro. Let's grow, bro. Come on, Mike. I challenge you. Post it, man. Danielle Rose, let's do it. Come on, girl. Post it. You will be surprised. I want you to learn and grow. That's the whole point of this show. It's not just fun. It's not just motivation. It's not just inspiration. It's about us learning and growing together. All right, post it. Let's go, Josh. Oh, post it. Everybody, post it. All right, listen. The good news is anything that somebody might say negative about you, we can, we can change that. But we don't know where we need to grow until we know where we need to grow, right? You see, character is not just about what's on the surface. Character is, is not the mask that you wear that you put out there on social media, okay? Character is the roots. And my question to you is, are your roots planted in fertile soil is your character rooted in good stuff? Because if it is, if it is, then your growth is unlimited. It's absolutely unlimited where you can go when you plant your character in fertile soil. All right? So let's have some fun today. Post that out there. What are we posting? Come in late. All right, Sarah. Sarah Espinosa, you're going to post this on your Facebook page. You're going to post, be honest, based on what you know about me. Describe me in five words or less. And then in parentheses, you're going to put, please be honest, good or bad. I'm trying to grow. And then you're going to put a picture of your face. You're going to put hashtag rise and grind so I can see it, which is going to enter you into a drawing. And we are going to really make sure that we wrap up this week where we've been studying character all week. I want to make sure that we wrap up this week with something productive, something progressive that moves you forward. We've done 300 episodes of Hashtag Rise and Grind. We've done a lot of growing together. You've grown a ton. You've grown a ton. I've grown a ton. You know, you've, you've, you've continued to make good decisions. You're waking up earlier. You're watching Hashtag Rise and Grind. You've, you've joined the Rise and Grind group. You're making all these powerful, great decisions. And those things are making an impact on your friends, on your family members, on your coworkers. They made a massive impact on me. All these things that you're doing. And so I want us to continue to make sure that, that Rise and Grind isn't just something that we watch in the morning. It's not something that we just flip to or we listen to as we're drinking our coffee and then go about our day. I want to make sure that you are growing because, see, you are a child of God, uniquely made by the God of the universe to be the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. The best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And that's what I want to help you with. I want to help you with that every single day. Because I stinking love you. If nobody's told you that yet today, I want to be the first. I stinking love you. Love you. And I know we went super long on today's show, and I don't care because it's so incredibly important that you take a look inside. Take a look inside. What is your character? How is your character? Are you feeding that character? Are you fueling that character? Are you becoming the best version of you that you can possibly be? And are you pouring that out into the rest of the world because it matters? You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to one more. Let's just go to one more before we wrap up, just for fun, since we're already running late anyway. Who else should we go to? I'm going to go to somebody I like I don't really know. Um, well, I don't know. Who should we go to? Let's go. To, what's what's uh, we're talking, what's Sean Hayes will be on the show tomorrow. What's his Facebook page look like? What's your page look like, Sean Hayes? All right, first thing, Sean Hayes. I can see that um, he is doing a, he works at Dan Cummins. It's great. So this guy sells cars and it looks like he's doing a video. He's going to add some value. He's got 1,800 views. People are watching that. That's good. 
Um, and look, he's responding to everybody's comments. He cares. All right. All right. Look. Thanks to all of you for support. Very first, very close to his first goal. So he's given away. He's been giving away some books. He wrote a book, which is awesome, on how to build your brand. He's continuing to add value. People are buying his book. They're posting about his book. Oh, look, he's going to be on this great show called Hashtag Rise and Grind. That's awesome. Here he is. Uh, that's the same video, adding some more value. There he is in a car. Looks like he's adding value. It's easy to beat me. Just work harder, but you better start early. Love it. He's a he's a rising he's a rising grinder. He gets up early, attacks it. Never be satisfied. We are Dan Cummins. Okay, works at a store. He's a motivator. He's an inspirer. He's an author. He's a book writer. He cares. He signed this book passionately. Uh, he's talking about getting more leads. Don't try to hide who you really are. Remember your imperfections are your perfections. Man, I like this guy. I like this guy. And it's, everything's positive on his page. I don't see any politics. I don't see anything about him bashing anybody. Um, looks like he's he's highlighting Frank Crenetti there. Looks like he's trying to add value to the marketplace. He's uh, also branding for his dealership, which is what you're supposed to be doing. But he's not hitting me with branding for his dealership every single day. Like he's not just hammering me by showing a picture of a car, a picture of a car, a picture of a car. But he's actually like being a human being. He's got personality. He's inspiring. He's motivating. I feel good when I look at his page. I would hire this dude. I would hire that dude. Would you hire that guy? I bet you would. I bet you would because he clearly has great character. He clearly carries himself in a way where he's all about others. He's just a great dude. And he's going to be on my show tomorrow morning. 5.30 a.m. Hashtag rise and grind. You guys can come check it out. All right, I better get out of here. I'm running right late, way late. Have a great day. Have a phenomenal day. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Me, Sean Hayes, 5.30 a.m. Peace. Do wake your homework. Up, wake up, wake up. Stay woke. Stay woke. Stay woke. Hashtag rise and grind. Hashtag rise and grind. First thing on my mind. Early in the morning time. Daily motivation. Feeling so divine. Waking up the nation. Hashtag rise and grind. Hashtag rise and grind, grind, 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 grind. Hashtag rise and grind. First thing on my mind, early in the morning time. Daily motivation, feeling so divine. Waking up the nation. Hashtag rise and grind. the sunrise stepped into my greatness feeling powerful and energized thankful to be alive hashtag bless right my mission vision values and my gratitude list i'm building up momentum i'm making good decisions i rise i grind i get it ain't no doubt that i'm committed cause who really loses if i don't win can't cheat the grind only get what you put in so i'm mastering my mentals i'm focused on my physical i'm deep